I've spoken about sealed games on this channel before, and in the beginning I couldn't really understand why anyone would really want to keep them sealed, but I can understand that everyone's different and some people prefer to do things that maybe others wouldn't even consider. I wouldn't say I've done extensive research into why people collect things and keep them sealed, nor have I tried to understand it necessarily, but over time I have come to be one of those people. Not to the extremes where everything in my collection has to be sealed, and I have a vast number of sealed games, but there are a few games that I have sealed that I want to play, but I refuse to open, and I don't know why. So in my last video I did say that I was selling off a part of my collection. Obviously the title suggests that I'm selling my entire collection, which isn't true, it's just to get you through the door. But then in the video I said, well I'm selling off a large number of items that I don't really see myself playing anytime soon, or things that I've completed. My Switch collection is something that I hold very dear to me. Unfortunately it's probably the collection worth the most money, so obviously that had to go because I wanted the money for other things. I want to say thank you for the response on that video and to everyone who was kind of on my side and said, you know, you do you. I, I saw the comments and a lot of people in there were saying, you do you, it's your collection, do whatever the hell you want with it, just enjoy life and I appreciate you greatly. I obviously understand that there were a large number of people who weren't happy with the news that the series was finishing and I was selling a part of the collection, but at the end of the day, life goes on and I need to do what I want to do to remain happy. So that's kind of where I am with it. However, I do have some Switch games left and those that I have I don't want to sell, but one of them is sealed. That game is the Heaven Dust Collection. This is a super rare game and yes, like I said, it's still sealed. Now it did arrive in some other packaging as well. Of course, it comes in like an outer uh, super rare game sleeve with some cards and things in it. I had and still have somehow every intention of playing this game and I say somehow because I don't intend to open this. Does that mean I have to go and buy another one? I don't know. I mean, in order to play it, I either have to download it, if that's a thing, play it on the PC, which is another thing, or, yeah, I have to buy another copy that's open. The problem with this game is it's now pretty expensive. This was originally 30 to 35 through Super Rare, and of course they've sold out, and if you're unaware about Super Rare games, uh, they have a very limited print run. I think this was two or 3,000 copies. That's it. In the entire universe, there are only about 3,000 of these that exist. So the fact that I even have one is outrageous in itself, but the fact that it's still sealed, yeah, if I open this, that devalues it a lot. But not only that, if I don't open it, I can't play it. But for some reason, I can't bring myself to open it. It's not one of the games I plan to sell either. So me saying, well, it devalues if I open it doesn't really make any sense whatsoever because I don't really plan on selling it. So why can't I open it? I do have another game not like that in any way. In fact, this is the other end of the spectrum. This is Halo 3 on the Xbox 360. This is still sealed as well. I can't open this, but this is cheap enough that I can just go and buy it for like 50 pence or a pound anyway, so you might as well keep it sealed. But it is on the other end of the spectrum, because this is a sealed game. Unfortunately, it is Xbox 360 Classics. If it wasn't the Classics version, it was just the standard, I'm pretty sure it'd be worth a hell of a lot more than that. I once picked up a sealed copy of Halo ODST that went for 50 quid, and I bought that for a pound in a boot sale. Unfortunately, I think that was like a week or two before I started recording. That would have been a really good way to kick off the series. But my point is, this is sealed and I really don't want to open it, but it's not really worth much. I think it's worth like 10, 15 at a push. I don't want to sell it either, but for some reason I just can't bring myself to open it. Like there's just no rhyme or reason to it. It is a little bit different with Heaven Dust uh, because that is a very valuable game. Uh, but on the same scale, they are both sealed and for some reason I don't want to open them. But the whole point of a video game is playing it. So why do people collect things sealed? I've seen many videos from people who have pure sealed collections. They don't really collect them for playing purposes. They collect them to go on the shelf, to look at them, to keep them sealed. And then of course over time these things will rise in value. If you go and search for a sealed Mega Drive game, you don't find that many, but when you do find them, they are worth a lot, a lot of money. You do have to be careful when it comes to certain sealed games. Uh, for example, Mega Drive games never really came with one of those 
pull tabs, you know, the PlayStation sealed games. I'm not sure I have one of those, but they have the PlayStation ribbon that goes around the, I wouldn't say the middle, but just underneath the middle. Uh, it is a PlayStation logoed ribbon that you sort of pull around and it just peels away. Xbox, of course, will have their security seal underneath. Uh, Nintendo have a very similar system to PlayStation with the seal with the Nintendo logo on it. But of course, Heaven Dust isn't a Nintendo game, but it has its own version of that seal. And because I bought it new from a retailer, I know that it is, it is an official seal. But when it comes to things like Mega Drive games, you have to be careful. There are such machines as a shrink wrapping machine. And I say that as if it's a machine. It's literally just shrink wrap and you use a hot gun to seal it. But that will look like an originally sealed Mega Drive game. So you do have to be careful when buying things like that. But my point remains, why do people collect seal games? Now, I would never go out and pay the crazy prices some people are asking for sealed games. If you want to go and find a sealed Wii U game, a lot of those will run you a pretty penny. And even though I can appreciate a sealed game and really enjoy having it on my shelf, it's not something that I would actively go and look for. If I see a sealed game in a car boot or in a charity shop or something of that nature, and I can see that it's low priced, then yes, of course I'm going to pick it up. Uh, does it mean that I will keep it? Not necessarily. If it's worth a hell of a lot more than I've paid and it's not a game that I really care about, then yes, I will absolutely sell it. But yeah, I would probably put it on the shelf and appreciate it for what it is. But for some reason, I can't get my head around why I want to appreciate it when it's sealed. A video game is there to be played. One thing I do understand, and I'm sure you do as well, is the value behind a sealed game. Now, I don't understand why sealed games are more expensive when, you know, the disc looks new condition on a pre-owned copy it can be worth significantly less than a sealed copy I do understand people like to collect sealed things but then again I don't understand why but my point is if you find a sealed game in a charity shop or a car boot sale you might automatically think I wonder if that's worth money at least mine does anyway and I will look it up now of course there are shovelware games that even sealed are worth a little bit but generally speaking you can tell when a sealed game is going to be worth a lot you do get the odd exception when it comes to Halo 3 for example on the Xbox 360 the classics version Version isn't really worth an awful lot and I believe that's down to it being a classics if it was just the original then I'm sure it would be worth a hell of a lot more but when it comes to consoles like the GameCube if you can find a sealed game on the GameCube chances are you've struck a little bit of gold there are some games there that would pay for a Mediterranean holiday for a family of four and on the very low end, you're probably looking at around 20 to 30 quid for just shovelware. And I think that's where people collecting sealed Nintendo Switch games, Wii, Wii U games comes from. The fact that the older Nintendo consoles have such valuable games means that Nintendo just holds value in general. The Wii is one of the greatest selling consoles of all time. So games like Mario Kart, New Super Mario Brothers, any of the Sonic games, for example, there's going to be a plethora of them around. And yet, if you have a sealed one, it is still worth a considerable amount of money. And that is the power of Nintendo. It doesn't matter what console it was, whether it's the Wii that sold millions and millions of units, or the Wii U that sold about seven. If you have a sealed game on one of these consoles and it's first party, it's worth a considerable amount of money. If you have a sealed first party title on the Xbox 360 or the PS4, it's not necessarily worth a lot of money. And that is the Nintendo draw. So when people are collecting Switch games that are sealed, you know that 9 times out of 10 anyway, they are going to benefit from that financially in the future. And I've seen that myself when selling off a part of my collection. The sealed Switch games are worth a premium. So outside of collecting for value, is there a reason people will collect sealed games? And I'm not necessarily talking Switch, Nintendo or anything, just in general. Do you collect sealed games for any particular reason other than money? So as if you needed me to tell you, but a tip of course is that if you're out and about in a charity shop or a pawn shop or a car boot sale and you happen to find a sealed game, it's worth looking it up. I found UFC 2, I think it was, in a pawn shop not that long ago. It was in one of the videos and they had it marked up as $3.99. I had a look and it was worth about 20 quid. Now I've still got that game it is up for sale and I will eventually sell it because when it comes to that type of thing you are looking for that one specific person who is looking for a sealed copy of 
insert game here, but it will eventually sell. So it's definitely worth looking them up. If they are 50 pence or a pound and they're sealed and they're in a boot sale, for example, or even a charity shop, not that you could find games that cheap in charity shops these days, but if you do manage to find them, it's always worth picking them up because there are people out there who buy even the, the, the worst of games that are sealed. Shovelware still sells sealed, just not as well as first party titles. Either way, let me know in the comments, what type of collector are you? Do you have any sealed games in your collection? Do you think, well, I don't care, I'm going to open them. I have done it in the past. It's not like that. I do that with every single game. There are some games that I buy brand new and sealed. The Turtles collection, the Cowbunga collection, for example, that arrived sealed from Amazon. Open that straight away, straight in the console, and I played through it in one sitting. There are games I don't really care about opening. It's fine. I want to play them that bad that I don't care about ripping the cellophane off. But when it comes to games like that, for some reason, I just don't want to open it. And I suppose in a way, maybe it will come down to value at the end of the day. Maybe in the back of my mind, there is a monkey turning the cogs thinking, no, we have to keep the value on this. You cannot open it. And maybe that's the reason why I can't. But I couldn't quite put my finger on it just yet why I don't want to open it, but I don't. Let me know in the comments, do you have any games in your collection that you wish you could open, but you just can't bring yourself to? Or are you a pure sealed collector and you don't have any unopened games or that many? If you want to check out another video from me, you can click here. And until the next time, goodbye.